Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to Boost by Gear. Uh, I just wanted to give you an update on the Integra. Uh, I had actually taken it apart because I was going to part it out. Um, but since they announced that our local track bandimeter is closing, I decided to put it back together. I sold some things off the car, uh, but this is what it looks like now. Let's go check it out. Alright, so basically I changed it up a little bit. Uh, this is the same exact uh, long block that was in it, so it's still a built motor. Uh, but I did change the intake manifold on it, so it's, only, it's got a stock intake manifold on it now. I did end up selling the Gato 8 injector intake manifold. Unfortunately, I do need that now, but I, I just can't spend 2000 bucks on an intake manifold right now. Uh, same radiator. Uh, the tranny right now that's in it is uh, just a dummy trans to get everything uh, fabbed up. Uh, I did change the turbo and the turbo manifold, as you can tell. Uh, this is a next gen uh, 72.9 uh, precision so 72.9 uh, 85 on the exhaust side so I did end up changing the manifold as well um, I changed it to a uh, schmuck built um, T4 turbo manifold so that's what's on it now still got the 60 millimeter gate on the bottom there um, but now it'll be a 4 inch up pipe stuff like that so I did change the catch can set up a little bit I went with the level 7 uh, catch can set up there that way I didn't have to drill any holes in my valve cover and weld anything um, so I got that all set up wiring is kind of just messy right now I had to go from uh, I had a B-series TPS on my on my uh, skunk 2 throttle body um, and now that it has a, has a stock throttle body uh, I had to go back to the K-series uh, TPS um, I also got rid of the alternator this time around I did do the T7 design uh, alternator relocation kit but it ended up not working because I didn't have the PRP uh, water pump housing so I think I'm gonna use it like that uh, just to use the tensioner I'm gonna get out to I'm gonna have to get a special size belt for it um, so I'm gonna run no alternator I'm gonna change the battery from this 12 volt to an excess power 16 volt and as you can see I added a little bit of weight to the front so it's got a 125 pound weight plate on it now and then um, I got this speed factory 1000 horsepower intercooler um, I actually had to cut the top off of this and uh, flip it because I couldn't find any same side intercoolers that were 1000 horsepower so I actually cut this along the top right here <clears throat> and I just flipped it around because the, the inlet or outlet was on this side so I got that on there now, so I just got to make some boost pipes for it. Um, I also changed the fuel system a little bit. I went from a mechanical fuel pump to a Weldon electric fuel pump that you can see here. So I just changed the lines up a little bit, but that's all good. I just got to mount the pump to get it done. Uh, and as far as transmission goes, um, it was a PPG uh, dog box. Now it is going to be a Quave sequential with the billet case. Shout out to Mark P at GP1 Racing for getting me all the parts and for assembling the trans. Super cool guy. If you guys ever need any parts for transmission stuff or transmission builds, definitely don't hesitate to hit him up. He will take care of you for sure. And uh, as far as the front end goes, uh, this car did have the Type R front end on it, but the stock front end just didn't fit the wheels very well. And, uh, you know, it wasn't good for the drag racing application. So I do have a forged carbon front end coming for this car I can't wait for you guys to see it it is super super nice um, I've only seen it in pictures I haven't seen it in person yet it is on the way uh, shout out to Taylor Anderson from Full Circle Motorsports for going to pick that up he's in California right now uh, picking up that front end for me and uh, picking up some carbon parts for his car as well so when that gets here I'll show you guys what that thing looks like it's super nice uh, it should flow really well with the car. I can get it lowered and stuff and uh, Hopefully get some uh, you know better 60s and stuff So yeah, it is on stock suspension right now at the moment uh, completely stock shocks and coils So I do need to get some suspension for it to, uh, to get it lowered down But uh, everything else in the interior has stayed the same still fuel tech um, What else uh, same fuel cell and stuff uh, but yeah, I mean, that's pretty much it. Uh, I got to build uh, a pipe for it and a dump tube, make some boost pipes and mount the intercooler. 
Um, and then uh, once the trans shows up, I can get it in there and then uh, mount the shifter and all that stuff. But I can't wait to show you guys the front end. Like I said, it is super, super nice from what I've seen in pictures. I can't wait to get it on here. I did get the hood as well. So the bumper, the fenders, and the hood is all forged carbon. So I can't wait for you guys to see it. So that's going to be it for this short video, guys. I just wanted to make a video kind of explaining what was going on with the car and what I was doing with it. Um, like I said, since the track is closing, I wanted to get this car back out there and hopefully run some mid-8 second passes. It still has a 10-point cage in it, but it's good for 850, so we'll see what we can do. Um, let me know down in the comments if you guys want to see more on this car or what you guys want to see. Uh, I actually run the YouTube for Finish Line Industries, uh, which is the shop that I work at right now. Um, so if you guys want to check out some videos on there, you can too. The YouTube channel is called Finish Line Industries, so you guys can go check that out. Uh, there's a couple of my videos on there too. So, yeah guys, thanks for watching this short clip. And uh, we'll see you guys in the next video once this thing uh, has some more progress.